Welcome back to AP U.S. History. We've been talking about the 1970s and 80s. Uh, Carter uh, being elected in 1976 um, replaces uh, Ford. Uh, Nixon had uh, been forced to resign. Car Ford will take over. Carter will be elected uh, to presidency. There are a few things that we've talked about. One, the, the hostage crisis uh, and how he handled that. Uh, most people felt that because of his uh, inability to retrieve our hostages from the the embassy, um, that that cost him the election in 1980. Uh, he, when the the Soviets invade Afghanistan, we will stop grain shipments. We will uh, break off uh, this kind of spell the end of detente. Uh, relationship with the Soviet Union will grow cold. In 1980, we with uh, boycott the Summer Olympics uh, for Afghanistan being invaded by the Soviet Union. Uh, we will supply um, arms and ammunition to the freedom fighters in Afghanistan against the Soviets, and eventually the Soviets will leave after um, 10 years. Uh, this Iran hostage crisis situation certainly uh, hurt uh, President Carter. Um, hostages were held for 444 days. Uh, the incoming President Reagan will free the hostages. Um, and this will uh, bring a, a sad moment to a close. Uh, these people incarcerated for over a year shows Iranian militants uh, blindfolding some of the hostages. Uh, there was a black lash and that is a lot of Americans uh, uh, vented their feelings against Iranians uh, because of the, the crisis. Uh, Reagan is going to be elected in 1980. Um, with a combination of uh, a bad economy and the hostage uh, crisis uh, in Iran, um, Reagan is going to sweep into the White House. Uh, he's going to be the leading spokesman of the conservative movement. He would, had been a former actor, turned politician, became governor of California. Um, he was part of that uh, the McCarthy era, a purging communist from the ranks of the film industry. Uh, one of the things that he wants to do is cut taxes and have a strong defense, and he wants people to get back to work. Uh, Jimmy Carter is nominated by the Democrats, but he will uh, uh, have a record-setting uh, defeat, um, and it was ability inability to deal with uh, unemployment, high inflation, gas lines during his presidency. Um, Charged that Nixon was a or Reagan was a warmonger, uh, but Reagan, in spite of his claims, will win a landslide uh, revolution. One of the things that this Reagan revolution will come in uh, uh, to uh, effect is that uh, he will get some tax cuts for the rich. Uh, this is the first time in 25 years that the uh, Republicans control the Senate. Uh, and this has given them a, a push to get legislation through. This was the first time that a sitting president has been unseated since Herbert Hoover. This was uh, Carter. This shows the landslide victory. Uh, and you can see that the red states were voting for uh, Ronald Reagan. Uh, very, uh, very good communicator. Uh, inspired uh, Americans that we could do better. Uh, he is uh, going to be credited as condemning the Soviets as the evil empire. Uh, one th incident during his presidency, the Soviets shot down a Korean airliner, South Korean airliner, uh, unarmed, and he will call this a act of uh, treachery and calls him an evil empire. Uh, he will uh, deal with uh, the Soviets by uh, endorsing uh, limited nuclear war. Um, 
he comes up with what he calls strategic defensive initiative, also called Star Wars, where we're going to have satellites and lasers and shoot down incoming missiles. Um, his plans put enormous pressure on the Soviets, and eventually they're going to crumble, uh, and he will bring down the evil empire. This shows a picture of SDI satellites uh, knocking down missiles coming in from the Soviet Union. Uh, did it ever work? No, but the Russians believed it would, and eventually they weren't able to keep up with uh, the spending uh, to produce more uh, missiles and defenses, uh, and eventually they will fall un unravel. As far as domestic uh, policies, there's something called Reaganomics or trickle-down or supply-side economics. Those all seem to go together, and this is giving tax cuts to the rich, uh, which then gives them more money to spend and invest back into America. Uh, large budget cuts in domestic programs uh, was part of his, uh, but the defense budget was increased by $12 billion. So he increased spending, cut social programs. Uh, s some people cr criticized him because uh, mental health uh, patients were turned out on the street. He reduced welfare. Uh, seemed to be more prone to help the rich. He deregulated uh, phone companies and trucking uh, during his administration. Um, he sought to end affirmative action and legalized abortion. Uh, one of the scandals that he had was the Iran-Contra scandal where you know his administration was selling arms to Iran to fight, or not to Iran, but to uh, Iraq uh, who was fighting Iran, and the profits that he was receiving from these arms he was giving to the Contra, who were fighting the communists in Nicaragua. Uh, this plan was uncovered, and uh, this went against what Congress had authorized. Uh, Ollie North and Poindexter were two that were tried, uh, but never jailed. Uh, they never implicated Reagan in this scheme, uh, but many believe that uh, Reagan had authorized this. Um, and it was fight to fight the communists. And we'll stop.